to week one of term three of One Hope Kids Online. We are super pumped that you are with us today. This term is all about exercising our faith. Now, take a minute to think about this word exercise. Some of you might like the word exercise. Others of you may not like the word exercise. The dictionary says that exercise is exerting yourself, making yourself work hard and get puffed and get tired by doing something over and over again so that you get better at it or you get more healthy. Exercise is hard, but exercise makes us better. So this term is all about getting better at loving Jesus, getting better at living like God wants us to live. And if we want to get better at something, what do we have to do? That's right, exercise. Today, we have a special guest coming to visit us. But before you meet them, I've got a question for you. Is there a sport or an activity that you wish that you could do, but you can't yet because you're not old enough? When I was young, I really wanted to have singing lessons, but my mum made me wait and wait and wait until I was older before I was allowed to have them. Maybe for you, you really want to play football, or you want to play tennis, or cricket, or maybe you want to do ballet. Or maybe there's a TV show that you really want to watch, but your mum says you're not old enough. Pause the video now and tell the person next to you that thing that you wish that you could do that you're not allowed to do because you're still a kid. You're back. Great. So today we have a special guest who's going to teach us to do some exercise. Her name is Svetlana and she's from Sweden. And she's here today to teach us about getting our heart rate up and strengthening our muscles through aerobics so we can get strong and healthy. We're going to cross to her now in Sweden. Svetlana, Svetlana, are you there Svetlana? Oh, hello everyone! This is Svetlana from Sweden. Get up on your feet everyone watching this. Get up off the couch. You can't get fit and healthy sitting on your couch. You've got to get moving. Got to get active. I love aerobics because it is something that everyone can do, big or small, young or old. You don't need any equipment in your hand. You don't need a membership to a club. You don't need to wear certain clothes. Anyone can do it anywhere, anytime. It's available to everyone. Doesn't matter what you look like or where you are. You can do it anywhere and anytime because aerobics is for everybody. Okay, are you ready? We are going to do some moves together. Ready? First move is the rock star. You pretend you have a guitar and you play. Rockstar! Next one is Superstar. Ready? Get ready to fly like Superman. Superstar! Rockstar! Superstar! Next one is the Mermaid Stretch. You put your hand up over your head, other hand on your hip and you lean like this. And then we go the other way. And the other way. This is the Mermaid Stretch. Next one, the hallelujah, hallelujah. Can you do it too? Hallelujah. And the last one, and it's my favorite, the crab. All right, put your hands like this, like the nippers on a crab. Are we ready? Yes, we're ready. Ready and move to the side. Wow, thank you Svetlana. That reminds me of the story today. Hmm, what a coincidence. Did you know that when Jesus was walking around teaching, a bunch of people brought their kids to him because they wanted him to bless them and to teach them. And they wanted him to be available to the kids as well as the adults. But the disciples told them to go away and that the children couldn't come to Jesus. 
Kind of like how in order to play some sports, you need to be a member of a club or a certain height or age or size. It was as though the disciples thought that Jesus was only for some people. But Jesus says to the disciples to stop and to let the kids come to him. Jesus says, let the little children come to me. Jesus says anyone and everyone can come to him, no matter how big or small, young or old. Jesus is for everyone, everywhere and anytime, kind of like aerobics. Knowing Jesus, believing in him, loving and living for him is not just for adults. It's not just for big people. In the book of Luke, it says people were also bringing babies to Jesus for him to place his hands on them. When the disciples saw this, they rebuked them. But Jesus called the children to him and said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them for the kingdom of God belongs to such as these. Truly, I tell you. Anyone who will not receive the kingdom of God like a little child will never enter it. There's another verse in the Bible where Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Jesus says that anyone and everyone can come to him anytime, anywhere. But what does this really mean? What does it mean to come to Jesus? Well, I think it's about doing the things that help us be closer to God. Things like thinking about him, thinking about his love and forgiveness, talking to him, telling him how we feel and about our needs, learning more about him through watching these videos and reading the Bible And asking questions, talking about Jesus to our family and friends and spending time with other Christians so that they can help us do all these things. All these things are like exercises that move us closer to God and his purposes for our lives, like strengthening our spiritual muscles. Okay, so guys, if you're watching this, We've got two activity options for you this week. One is to rehearse Svetlana's workout and do it over and over again and then record yourself doing it. See how many people in your family you can get to do it with you. Then we want you to post the video to our Facebook group. The most entertaining video will win a prize. There's also activity sheets available on our website. Okay, so let's pray and let's celebrate God's love for us. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that you invite us to come to you. Thank you that no matter who we are and how we are, we can always come to you. Whether we're big or small, whether we're angry or happy or sad, we can come to you anytime and anywhere and you will always accept us. Lord, this week, we will come to you. We will accept that invitation and come. We will learn more about you. We will think more about you. We will talk to you more. Lord, we will exercise our spiritual muscles because we want to be better at living for you and loving you. We thank you, Jesus, for this amazing time together. And we look forward to living for you this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next week as we continue to exercise our faith.